Well, we've got two new legendary Pokemon thanks to Surf, but you know what? There's still some other things we can, uh, we can do now that we can surf across the water. And one of those things is going back to whence we came. Yep, that's right. Go all the way back to Route 1. There was this suspicious puddle of water here, but now that we have Surf, we can surf right on over it. I wonder what's over there. Well, if you were looking at your uh, map, you might notice, hey, there's like some stuff over there. Particularly this awesome sounding P2 lab. You know you just gotta check it out. Well, the good news is you can check it out as soon as you get Surf. And there's a great TM you can get over here. There's actually some pretty good ones. But it's a bit of an exploration. It'll take a while. So make sure you have, like, healing items and, and stuff, obviously. A Pokemon with strength is highly recommended, too. But I don't think you're going to need anything else, really. Um, so this trainer here, she has a Swoobat at level 35. Wow, that's surprisingly strong for a Swoobat. Now this thing, it kind of is making my little bug there shiver a bit because... Well, you know, flying type, kind of quad weak to it. Ooh, not good. Ooh. So I'm going to get Manta Blade, my Lee Vanny, out of there, and I'm just going to get the job done with Maryland. I don't have anyone specifically good for this task. Um, so I'm just going to have to rely on brute strength with my awesome new surf. And naturally, you're going to use Amnesia just to, you know, lower the power of that surf by a lot. What a jerk. Look at that. That's ridiculous um one thing I need to point out make sure you um, you have an empty space in your party when you're making this exploration because one of the rewards you can get for exploring around here is an egg a Pokemon egg but you're not going to be able to pick it up unless you have an empty spot in your party so make sure you get that ahead of time um, Unfortunately, I had to leave Judo Mario behind for this. Because, well, I'm full up on Pokemon in my team now, man. Uh, so he's already strong enough, and I figure, uh, well, I'll just leave him behind. I'll put him on the bench. I love this connected feeling. Yeah, she gives, she gives you a person berry after you've beaten her in battle. What a pain. I'm just watching the dangling tip of the fishing hook. Since you and I have met, we need a battle or something like that. Whatever, I wasn't even paying attention. This guy, Fisherman Sean, he's got a Frillish on his team. Now, that's one of the Pokemon that you can find um, in several different locations now that you can surf. One that I know off the top of my head, if you like really, really want one, you can just go to Driftvale City and surf around a bit. You'll find a whole ton of them. Um, they're a water ghost type. That one was blue, you might have noticed, but take a look at this one. Look, it's pink! What's up with that? Well, it's just because of gender differences. You see, the pink frillish, they're pink. And, well, duh, pink frillish are pink! No, pink frillish are female, I'm sorry. And then the blue ones are male. Because I love fishing in Pokemon. I enjoy my life twice as much! I enjoy my life twice as much, because there's two things I like. I'm just, I'm just watching it. Even meaningless things can have meaning sometimes. What? This guy, you're being way too, way too cryptic, yo. Um, what do we got over here? Okay, so there's another trainer guy just hiding out right over here. I'm not running out, but I usually barrel through as quickly as I can. Do a barrel roll! Why not do it, huh? Whoa, alright, so Claude. Claude's got a Chinchino on his team. Level 35. Jeez, the folks around here are pretty tough. Good thing there was a fence stopping them from getting over to me. And some trees and stuff. And some water and all that huh so this chinchino it wants to sing but i'm not going to let it instead i'm going to ooh, signature move tail slap and it only hit two times wow awesome i was expecting it to hit like five times because it always does oh man to play fell in love just in time to see what he's done to his love oh wow yay wily is catching up there Excellent. Some Striker. Hmm. What should I do? I'm just gonna leave it out. I think I can take this. I do have the resistance after all. Not like Hope's gonna- Whoa, 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 whoa! I forgot this thing has flame charge! Oh, man. Shoot! Ah! Oh, two hit points left! Oh, my goodness. Mad to play. Don't! 
Don't faint on me, bro. Oh, so close. Man, I got that speed boost, so I know there's no... I mean, I didn't even outspeed it in the first place. This is gonna hurt. Normally, I'd send out Judo Mario, because he can use that bulldoze thing to take that zebra out, but I kind of left him behind. So I'm trying to think, what do I have? So I'm just gonna hope that he's gonna use flame charge on me, and wow, what is that, huh? Really? It's like you just magically sense. And what's with this two hit point thing? It's like having two focus sashes on at all times and leaving me with two hit points instead of one or something. I don't know. It's wild, but needless to say, this strike has taken me out, bro. This thing's a beast. It's running right through me. Uh, now I'm just going to let it knock me out because it's going to wreck me if I switch in anything else. I think I'll probably just send in, like, hope and get it done. Um, but sometimes you need to sacrifice something just to get there. Oh, yeah, Snow White. That's right. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I know she can take flame charges like a champ for some reason. I just didn't want her to have to switch into one. That wouldn't be cool. Well, unfortunately, Maryland has fainted. But, eh, you know, Snow White's here. I have not yet crossed the line of victory. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna use this little rest to give you a present. Well, thanks? Thank you? Run and run in cities, run! Wow, you're talking way too fast, dude. You're, like, talking faster than N. There's a pearl lurking over here, but if you have your dowsing machine going, you can even find a big mushroom if you face the trees and press A, like, right there. Because you know you want a big mushroom. You can take it back to Route 5, sell it for a bit of money, I guess, in that trailer. Wow, there's nothing on the TV. What's up with that? Wasting money's bad, but wasting time's even worse. See what I did there? I paused dramatically to waste your time, even though it's going to be the same amount of time anyway. Because you're probably still watching this video. And you're, gonna watch you're going to watch it till the end, right? Because that's what you do. Or maybe you're going to turn it off right now. If you did, I wouldn't blame you. Anyway, moving along here, I just healed up my Pokemon a little bit because they were getting weak and Marilyn's knocked out, and I don't want that. That's not a cool way to be. So I revived him with the revive I had just sitting there. Now this fisherman here, he has a Basculin on his team. You're going to see a lot of water-type Pokemon as you make your way onto this watery Route 17 here. Yeah, that's where you're going next. Now you're past Route, route 1, onto the real new route. Yeah, that's right. Oh, also on Route 1, there wasn't, there's not like a lot of exciting Pokemon there, as a matter of fact. There's like, there's, there's really nothing that great. There's three things. I think there's like Watchhog, there's Stoutland. No, no, not Stoutland. There's, um, oh, something else. There, there's nothing too exciting, but they are at high levels. So you might even enjoy just training there for a little bit. You'll get some good experience. Okay, buddy. Get out of here. Let's see, uh, what's on that item over there, huh? I need to know what it is. I must know. Oh, Repel's effect wore off. Repels are very handy to have over here. Oh, nice! It's TM6! Toxic! Now, Toxic, it can be a rather useful um, TM to teach your Pokemon, but you really have to kind of have a defensive Pokemon if you want to use it effectively. Because in-game, you're just not going to have um, that many opportunities to use it masterfully. MASTERFULLY! Using it with Protect can be a good combo, though. Use that, Toxic Protect, do something Protect, do something Protect. It works good against some bosses. Oh, wow, what is that thing? Oh, man, it's one of those Alamomola. Alamomola. Alamalomola. Alamomola? Alo. I mean, really, like, when I first saw this Pokemon's name, I'm like, um, what? But it is pronounced Alamomola. Alamomola. You heard me right. Uh, I'm gonna waste a Shadow Claw here just to conserve my Leaf Blades. I'm gonna get a critical hit, naturally. Alright, Alamomomomola, or whatever you are, you're gone now. Ooh, and Wily leveled up again. Nice. What a fresh trainer! Really, really fresh! Whoa! Okay, I'm I'm just that fresh. Like the fresh Prince of Route 17 or something. So, 
these watery paths kind of take you places. Um, I don't think that's the one I want to go in. And did you see that little rippling water over there? I just ignored it, but if you go, if you surf in there, you'll find sometimes like a rare Pokemon. Over here, you can find a deep sea tooth, which you can't even use for anything until later in the game where you can get Clamperl, like after you've beaten the game. That's it, that's all you get. Um, where do they want to go? So, surf along here, and this guy, I'm good at backstroke, freestyle, butterfly, and of course, Pokemon! I think that's what he said. I need to stop mashing that A button, man. Okay, right. Let's see just how right you are. You've got a Basculin on your team. Oh yeah, so remember what I was telling you about those that rippling water that you see? You'll hear it go whoop whoop. And uh, if you surf into it, you, depending on the location, you'll either find Alamomola there as one of the possible Pokemon you can fight, or you will find um, Basculin. But it'll be of the different color stripe than the one you'll find outside of there. So you can get both kinds of Basculin in both versions, but the issue is one is more common in white and one is more common in black. I don't remember which is which off the top of my head. It doesn't really matter because you can trade for the other one in Driftvale City anyway, so it's not like they're super duper rare or anything. And it's not like they're really even that good. Sorry, Basculin. You're just kind of cranky. So that hurt more than I thought. I'm gonna have to switch. I was trying to give Wily a chance there, but she's just not ready for this. That crunch is brutal. Um, at least she'll get a little bit of extra experience for being out in the fight a little bit. Really want an Elgium. Oh, man. Er, I have an Elgium. I mean a Behem. That, that's the evolution thing. I really like them both. They're kind of neat Pokemon. Ah, you have a lot of Basculin on your team, man! What is up with that? Like, seriously. Dude, you have, like, four Basculin in your team. Is there a reason for that? Or are you just such a huge fan of these things? That you just don't know what to do with yourself? I would have a real problem if I had four Basculin on my team. I really do wonder, why do trainers only catch certain Pokémon? You only catch like one or two, and then they're done with it. Did I just lose a Pokemon even though I'm so good at them? Yeah, dude, weren't you paying attention? You used four Basculin! I was just using you as the butt of a joke for a moment there. That's what I was doing. Alright, so uh, now we're at Route 18, and we will um, we'll actually explore this in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White Adventure. Hopefully this time with even less Basculin in it. <laughs>